Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Olumide Makoli on the program today. Nigeria's First Lady Aisha Buhari warns President Mohamed Buhari to rejig his government or lose her support, alleges that only a few people are behind presidential appointments. Private schools in Yobe State seek government assistance to rebuild damaged infrastructure after years of terrorist attack. And Nigeria Union of Local Government Employees continue to clamor for autonomy, hold delegates conference. Thank you so much for joining us. The Nigerian Judiciary Council has described the recent clampdown on judges as a threat to the independence of the judiciary. The NJC came up with this position after a two-day emergency meeting to review the recent onslaught on some members of the judiciary by the Department of State Services, GSS. The NJC says the recent invasion of the residents and the rest of some serving members of the judiciary is a clear attempt by the DSS to humiliate, intimidate and denigrate as well as cow the judiciary. The NJC however says it will continue to support the presidential Mohamed Buhari administration's fight against corruption in all its ramifications in the federation and in cleansing the judiciary of corrupt judicial officers. Nigeria's First Lady, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, has warned the President that she will not support him at the next election unless he rejigs his government. In an interview with the BBC, Mrs. Buhari says only a few people are behind presidential appointments, and she warns that she may not support President Mohamed Buhari at the next election unless he, cleans, cleanses, uh, he cleans up his government. The president famously remarked at his inauguration that he belongs to nobody and belongs to everybody. But the first lady says this is certainly not the case, as, quote, the president does not know 45 out of 50, for example, of the people he appointed, and I don't know them either, despite being his wife of 27 years, end of quote. Mrs. Buhari added that people who do not share the vision of the ruling All Progressives Congress have now been appointed to top posts because of the influence a few people wield. She, however, praised the government's achievement for improving security in the Northeast, where Boko Haram has waged an insurgency since 2009. But on the issue of whether the president is in charge of his government, the First Lady says that is left for the people to decide. Analysts say this interview is a damning assessment of President Mohamed Buhari's government and the first time in the history of the nation that a First Lady will publicly call her husband to order. In line with sustaining the fight against crude oil theft and other maritime crime, the Nigerian Navy has opened the maritime security stations with fully equipped surveillance gadgets as well as gunboats to choke points in the Niger Delta. That's according to the flag officer commanding Eastern Naval Command, Rear Admiral James Uluwale, during a tour of the latest developments to Carthorne Channel in Kalabari in Akukutoru, local government area of River State. According to the flag officer commanding, more stations will be deployed to those choke points which have been identified as routes for high rates of crude oil theft and other insecurity challenges. In here is part of the choke point regime that has been introduced by the Navy to check the menace of crude oil theft. And it is uh, necessary at this point to elaborate that this is also the first what we call the maritime security station, which in the civilian uh, climb is um, referred to as the houseboat. With this deployment in this cutting channel, we have been able to put in place a security measure that we believe will curtail this theft of crude oil. We are standing on one of the badges that was arrested around two a.m. this morning.
by the vigilant crew of the maritime security station. It also explains that the regime is operational and it is also effective. Also in the Navy and issues of national security, the force has commenced full operations on the Nigerian side of the general Lake Chad area. That is sequel to the deployment of Marine troops to the area in line with the presidential directive to give a boost to the war against insurgency in northeast Nigeria. The chief of naval staff has been interacting with commanders in the newly established area of naval operations to appraise the situation on the ground. The Lake Chad uh, stands as a very strategic um, uh, location for Nigeria. Are you aware that it provides a means of uh, communication between uh, the four nations that um, border the Lake Chad and that form the Lake Chad Basin uh, Commission? Are also aware that um, within the Lake Chad itself lies a lot of resources that might be of interest to uh, any developing country. And for us, I think um, uh, being there now will serve to uh, consolidate that position. Aside, uh, providing security for the post-conflict uh, um, recovery and rehabilitation also uh, will be further enhanced, you know, with the presence of um, uh, the Navy there, you know, to complement the efforts of the other security forces, most, most especially the Army. Uh, economic activities are bound to return as soon as uh, all these um, uh, efforts are consolidated and uh, actualized. Away from the Navy but staying in the Northeast, proprietors of private schools in Yobe State are seeking the partnership of the government at all levels in to reposition the education sector, which faces serious threat during the Boko Haram insurgency. Chairman of the National Association of Proprietors of Private Schools in Yobe State, Mr. John Oyama, in a chat with Channels Television, dropped the hint at a forum organized by the body in Damaturu, the state capital. Agency have seriously affected uh, enrollment, academic activities in UB State. So many private schools were burnt down, and uh, the proprietors of those schools are struggling to come up again. And uh, the government school too, many has been burnt down, and a lot of our children are, have moved from where they used to be to a new environment. And in some of those environments, there are no private schools, and even the government schools that are there, there are no buildings because of the destruction that took place in those areas. I suggest that the federal government will come to our aid. We heard that the Tiwa Danjuman's uh, committee will come to help build some of these schools and uh, help the Northeast to come up again educationally and in other ways. We are still hoping and we are still looking forward to receive them. So the Southwest and in the education sector as well, over 20,000 adults are expected to graduate yearly from the Lagos State Adult Education and Empowerment Program as the state government plans to increase the number of literacy centers from 532 to 1,000. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State disclosed this during the launch of Lagos is Learning. That's an intervention program aimed at addressing illiteracy in the state. State government says it is worried about the level of illiteracy with over 3 million Lagosians without any form of education. The project will enable beneficiaries acquire basic literacy courses and trade within 12 months.
there is no age limit to when you can learn. And learning really will give you lots of opportunity. You'll be able to know certain things that you should do. You will not only be useful to yourself, you will be useful to your community and of course to, to the state to the state as a whole. So we believe giving them this opportunity to learn is something that the state government is committed to. And like we said earlier, we have about 532 centers in Lagos. ECSS has directed that this should be increased to 1,000. And we are not just doing that alone. We are also catering for special groups like the mechanics. We are going to go to the mechanic village now to establish centers there where they can learn and they don't need to go to school, to, 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 the, to the other centers. We want to bring it closer to them so that they can benefit and maximally enjoy the benefits inherent in, have, in going having this type of opportunity. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees clamor for autonomy. Please stay with us.